Hi guys, I'm back. And it's been a few weeks since you heard from me, right? Yeah, it's been a few weeks. Now, as you guys know, there's a special scary occasion coming up. Do you know what its name is? Yes, you do. Halloween is coming up. So I'm going to do a special video all about Halloween. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm back. Cool. Now I'm gonna talk about Halloween. First up, the name. The scary names for Halloween. So actually Halloween means hallowed evening or holy evening. Holy because uh, you know those people that predict the future? They say that the dark and long times are yet to come now i want to talk about how halloween originated let's go so basically the celts who lived two thousand years ago started halloween on the 31st of october something strange happened to the earth they thought they thought that the boundaries between the underworld and earth were broken so skeletons and ghosts and lots of spirits would come up from the ground and haunt them. To keep the bad spirits away, they had a festival called Samhain. Samhain is like they lit huge bonfires and wore costumes. On so, on Samhain, that's the day they celebrate the New Year. When the like the harvest has ended and then the dark winters winters are coming. Now, there are two other days they also celebrate. The first of November and the second of November. The first of November is called Hallows Day. And the second of November is called Souls Day. Now, do you guys know the famous jack-o'-lantern yep i bet you guys know it now i'm gonna talk about the story how it originated so first of all the the celts um they carved faces out of turnips and potatoes which was pretty hard for them so and then they put some kind of lighting inside like burning coal or a candle so and they when they were heading home they threw it behind them for the good spirits to follow them in, into their homes. But when the Americans came into the country, they had the pumpkin, which was easier to carve into and softer. So basically the turnip was the, the original one, and then the pumpkin came, and now it's a famous one. There's actually a story behind it that I want to tell you right now. So I'm going to start telling it right now. So... Long ago, there used to be a man called Stingy Jack. He was very mean, and he took the pleasure out of scaring people and making them frightened. One day, he had dinner with the devil, but when he had to pay for it, he didn't want to. He was a very smart man, so he convinced the devil to turn into a coin for them to sell. The devil did as he was told, so Jack quickly grabbed the devil as a coin, put him in his pocket, and put a silver cross next to it to stop the devil from turning back. Of course, soon Jack had to free the devil. On one condition, the devil wouldn't bother him for one year. So the devil agreed. After one year, when the devil came back, he climbed up a tree to save a kitten. But the kitten was actually fake which was made by Stingy Jack. And then he put a golden cross next to the devil to stop him from coming back down. Soon after that, Jack died. But up in heaven, the gods would not let a bad, such a bad person to be in the good world. And in hell, the devil wouldn't let him as well. The devil sent Jack off into the dark night with only a burning piece of coal to light his way. Poor Jack carved a face on a turnip, 
put the bird in coal inside and live in a delicious way through the giant night sky. Now, on Halloween, people say that you can see his soul floating in between the two worlds because he was stuck as he wouldn't he would never be accepted into one of them. So that's the story of the jack-o' lantern. Now nowadays we have the pumpkin, which is cool. Now the sweet part of Halloween. Trick or treating. Long ago there were costume parties and trick or treaters, but they weren't really children. They were mostly adults. Now that I don't understand. But I'm, I, I'm now understanding. Adults dressed up in scary weird costumes back then, like vampires, goblins, mummies, in like so many different ways that we don't know today. Then they went to costume parties and trick or treat. Sometimes they even scared people into giving them candy. Now that wasn't nice. But then it changed. Children came into the story. But still, it wasn't really like our normal day trick-or-treating. So normally, then, they would wear va vampire costumes and mummies and the stuff you know now. But the trick-or-treating part was different. When they knocked on their neighbor's or person's door, they would have to chant something, like a verse from Bible. And then they say, trick-or-treat. Trick means they'll do something nasty to the person if they don't give them candy. We used to call them geysers. Now we call them trick-or-treaters, which is nice. Nowadays, people don't say the verses from Bible and just say trick-or-treat and don't actually do tricks if the person don't actually give them treats. Now that's good. Now, have I missed anything? Hmm, did I tell you about the games and rituals they did on, on Halloween? No, I did not. Now, that's the fun part. On Halloween, they always used to do apple bobbing, which was there were some apples in a bucket full of water. Then you have to put your face in oh, and pull out an apple. If you pull out an apple, you'll get a treat. Another one is cookie on the face. You have to balance a cookie on your nose. And if you're the last one holding a cookie on the nose, you get to eat it. Now, some rituals they did. That was to, like, for the gods, the important people that have passed away, or in your family members. Did you know that so spirits, bad spirits wouldn't come into their homes and scare them? They put food milk, like clothes even, candles, flowers on their doorsteps so the good spirits will be pleased and will not turn against them. Rituals they did was usually inside their houses where they would keep a, a window open in, their, in their one room, lay flowers and the name of the person who had passed away. Then they'd leave the room and not enter it for a whole night. It was believed that the ghost of the person would come in there and take the stuff that the people have left for him or her. Now, food from Halloween. Now that's the sweet part. Like a lot of you know, candy is the most popular one. Candy, candy, candy. Just don't rot your teeth. That'll be the bad part of our Halloween. Also, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is like a delicious frothy kind of milk with pumpkin in it. Kind of sounds weird, but it's actually delicious, I'm telling you. Also, there's pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin stuff. There's a lot of pumpkin stuff during Halloween. Pumpkin pie is, the, is one of the most famous pie during Halloween. So make sure you eat pumpkin pie on Halloween, or else you'll be missing out the sweet stuff. Hmm. Did you know that two million thousand candies are sold for Halloween, like bought for Halloween every year? Now that's a lot of candy from the whole wide world. From the whole wild world. Now that's too much candy for kids. 
Oh, so this is kind of gonna, gonna be weird, but trick or treat actually used to be a way to protect yourself from the bad spirits. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. So if you dressed up like a ghost, and then if a ghost is strolling past you, they would think you're one of their kind and leave you alone. So you basically trick them, and that's a tree, except you don't get a sweet. Lots of rhymes that are from Halloween come back from the Bible books. You know that? They just put them into a rhyming way for kids to say it, in a fun way, like, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. That's the funniest one, I think. Now, the resources I used. Dr. Binox is one of them. He is really helpful. And if you type up Halloween, you get loads of stuff. But make sure you type up Halloween for kids so you get appropriate videos, good stuff. Like, you can even find out when a pumpkin came into uh, the Celts' way of trick or treating. Now, that would be interesting to find out. Now, before I end my video, I have one scary question for you. My question is, who started Halloween? The Celts, the Irish, the Scottish, or the Americans? Type your answer in the comment section below. Now my video has come to an end. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye, and I'll see you on my next mysterious video.